check this out. This is called assistive access. And I set up this phone, this iPhone, for the senior citizen in my life. And he went from not being able to use the phone at all without help to being able to make calls to his friends and contacts completely independently. Once the phone is set up this way, it just works with tapping. There's no swooshing at all involved. And then long pressing doesn't do anything. So again, it's just tapping that makes things work. Take a photo. Make a call, okay? Super simple. There's one other setting that I find very useful for seniors, and that's the setting that sends all the calls that are not in a contacts list directly to voicemail. The phone won't even ring unless it's a call from a known person, and you don't have to worry as much about scammers taking advantage of the user. I'm going to show you that one first because once you turn on assistive access, you really can't get into settings to change anything else there. So we're going to start by going to settings, which is at the bottom of my phone here, which I'm working on. And we're going to go down to the apps, which um, starting in iOS 18 is all the way at the bottom. Here where it says apps. And these are in alphabetical order. So you're going to go to pH for phone. And once you click on the phone settings, again, it's, it's near the bottom here. And it says silence unknown callers. Right now I have it turned off. I'm gonna click on it and here's my little toggle switch to turn it on. Apple says here that calls from unknown numbers will be silenced, sent to voicemail and displayed on the recents list. Incoming calls will continue to ring from people in your contacts, recent outgoing calls and series suggestions. So I'm gonna turn that on. Now let's get into those uh, senior citizen settings. So back in the main settings screen, so we're gonna go back to the main screen. Okay, so this is regular settings. You are <clears throat> gonna look for the accessibility tools and they're not too far down the list. Right under general, it says accessibility, click on accessibility. And then once you're in the accessibility tools, you're looking for assistive access. And that again is in fact near the bottom of that particular list. So I'm gonna click on it. And right here, Apple's telling us just a little bit about assistive access. You can um, look at their help documents by clicking on either one of those two blue links. But we are going to just go ahead and set it up right now. Um, grid view has the bigger icons. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose grid view. Now, the next screen, you are selecting the apps that you want to have available in the main calling screen. So I'm gonna keep it super, super simple. Calls, okay, and receive calls from favorites or anyone in contacts, definitely go in with contacts. And we're gonna have the camera there, okay? And you can choose what kind of photos you want um, the person to be able to take. You can add text messaging. My particular senior citizen does not use text messaging, so I don't need to put that there. And then I'm also going to add photos so that the person can look at photos. All right, so I have just three things selected for the main screen of my phone once it is in assisted access. Once you hit continue, you'll see here that it's telling you that it does work slightly differently than the normal iPhone does. So normally you can um, triple click the power button to do SOS, but that is not one of the things that's going to be accessible here. And there's even a learn more button if you want to really get into the specifics of it. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. It's just going to invite you to do a four digit passcode on your user's phone. And I can also set a recovery Apple account for this particular setup. And in fact, when I set up um, the phone for my senior, I set myself up as the recovery Apple account, but I don't need to do that right now since I'm just demoing this for you. And basically we're ready to go here. What we're gonna do to go into assistive access is triple click the power button and then put in the passcode.
So to exit this, if you need to, for whatever reason, to change some of your settings or something, because you really can't change settings from here, um, you need to triple click the power button and then use your four digit passcode. And here's the exit assistive access. And that's where the passcode goes in. So this actually prevents the user from changing the settings. I know that we have found this setting to be a wonderful solution to help our senior citizen be able to actually use the phone and make and receive calls. So I hope this helps you too. Have a great day and remember, be brave, be kind, and do good work.